This is problem number five from section 2.4. In this problem it says find the limit, and they give you the limit as h approaches zero from the right, and they give you uh, this rational function, denominator of h. So if I go to directly substitute zero in for h, we're gonna get something that's uh, undefined. So I need to do some algebra manipulation to this to get it in a form where I can essentially plug zero in and figure out what the limit is coming from the right. So this is how you can start this. I notice that I have a radical uh, minus another radical. Usually when I see this, I think I need to multiply by the conjugate. So I'm gonna multiply by root h squared plus 8h plus 19 plus root 19. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. And when I multiply the top and the bottom, my goal is to get rid of the radical so I can cancel h. That's the whole point. So when I multiply the top, I take this term times each of these terms. So I have this term times this one, and then this term times this one. And when I multiply the, uh, this radical times this radical, I end up with limit as h approaches 0 from the right and I'll end up with h squared plus 8h plus 19. Because the radicals cancel, I'm going to multiply this one times the positive root 19. I end up with plus root 19 root h squared plus 8h plus 19. When I multiply the negative 19 now times each term, I end up with a negative root 19 root h squared plus 8h plus 19 and then negative root 19 times root 19 that's just going to give you 19 so it's minus 19. You can see that this will cancel here with this term and you're going to be left with limit as h approaches 0 from the right oh by the way this is all over h I need to make sure I put that in there and I, it's not just over h, it's h times, I forgot to multiply the bottom, so this would be root, and I just put it in parentheses, because I'm trying to cancel the, cancel the h, so I don't really want to do any distributing or anything like that. So I have just in parentheses here, the root h squared plus 8h plus 19 plus the root 19. So these two things cancel, the 19 and the negative 19 also cancel, and it leaves me with h squared plus 8h on top and that's all over h root h squared plus 8h plus 19 on the bottom plus root 19. I'm now going to factor an h out of the top and that gives me limit as h approaches 0 from the right h h plus 8 all over I have h root h squared plus 8h plus 19 plus root 19. The h's are going to cancel here and you're going to see that I end up with limit as h approaches 0 from the right, h over 8, or h plus 8, over root h squared plus 8h plus 19 plus root 19. When I evaluate the limit now to check to see if I can plug it in, so when I plug in 0, I end up with 0 plus 8 over on the bottom you get 0 squared plus 8 times 0 plus 19 plus root 19. We'll, we'll end up with 8 over, this will give you just root 19 because these are both 0, so it's just root 19 plus root 19, which gives you 2 root 19. I have root 19 plus root 19 here. 
we can cancel there and we're left with 4 over root 19. So 4 over root 19 is our limit as h approaches 0 from the right.